All right, thanks for staying with us now. Um, Zero Discrimination Day embarks on the first day of March annually, and the day aims to promote equality before the law and in practice throughout all the member countries of the United Nations. Many countries have laws against discrimination, but it's still a problem in all layers of society in every country in the world. Um, countries still use discrimination as a way of governing. So this is a day for zero discrimination. Um, all right, so um, quickly, let's run through our stories in the news. I'll come to you, Isi. What did you find for us in the news today? My story is on um, Femi Palana, and um, he actually gave us the concept of us having to um, have the individuals who participated in um, causing mayhem and disrupting the election process um, to be prosecuted. So he's calling for the arrest of the um, the, he's calling for the persecution of the electoral offenders. And I, I'm totally in sync with this because the, I, have, I have never seen where there was such a total flagrant dis display of disregard for the electoral process as was uh, um, established or experienced in the last election on, on, on um, Saturday. So I'm just going to keep it brief. Yes, I'm in, I'm, I'm in agreement with him that what we went through last um, week should not occur again. And we are looking for a situation whereby we can have the individuals who participated in ballot, uh, in cutting away the ballot boxes and manipulation of the electoral process, impersonation, the whole works should be taken into cognizance and prosecuted okay. in the court of law. All right, so Gloria, let me come to you quickly. What did you find for us in the news today? Um, so I decided to take something other than the election because we've been talking about elections, elections, and I'm like, maybe then let's just distract ourselves a little bit. So it's about a fire incident in Kano. It says, a fire accident that occurred on Wednesday in Kuruni Market in Kano has destroyed a total of 80 shops. The public relations officer of the Kano State Fire Service, Samino Abdullahi, confirmed the incident in a statement on Wednesday. Um, the reason why I took this, um, there's been a series of overtime of these regular fire outbreaks in major markets in Lagos. So maybe it's in form of a question, can anything be done, maybe education of the citizens on how to properly put their electronic stuff together or like sometimes i think there's just this general perception that especially in the lagos mid market from some some of the feedbacks i've gotten some time ago that maybe it's spiritual is it really spiritual <laughs> or can there be some sort of education i will just advise um, every shop owner <laughs> glory go get yeah. <laughs> insurance go get insurance that covers <laughs> things like this because i think it's something that somehow it's inevitable, right? So almost all the time we hear stories like this. I would just advise anybody that has a business and that is in a place like that that is clustered, just go and get insurance. I think it's the best thing to do. It's not anything right. spiritual. Okay. Let's just get insurance. We'll be all right. <laughs> uh, oh, your story, Jennifer, quickly. <laughs> Okay, so for me, a 16-year-old teenager has been apprehended for kidnapping nine kids. Oh, wow. Um, so when he was questioned, he confessed that, um, that his guardian gave him a magical ring and also gives him biscuits to lure kids. So basically what happens is once he lures those kids with biscuits, his guardian uses the ring and beats the children. Once he beats that particular child, they become unconscious and then they get kidnapped. So um, he said this is relating to that once the children have been kidnapped, they send them to an Islamic clergy hmm. in Lagos State. Oh, wow. Yeah. This happened in Lagos? In Lagos. Oh, wow. Wow. <coughs> hmm. wow. Wow. Okay. I'll just leave it there. When we come back from the break, we'll talk about the elections. Stay with us. We'll be right back.